here's a little night tour. So we got all those lights up right there. Oh, money. Look at that setup, baby. Damn, okay. Let's see what this yurt looks like at night. So we got all set up right here. A little dog bed. A little dog. For a carpet. The bed. <laughs> with the chandelier Look at that. and a little table so you can chill out right here very nice then we're gonna come outside and we got the vr4 glossing glowing mm. We got the gazebo with the hammock all lit up with the MR2. And that tent is just pretty awesome. What a sick setup. I'm about it. We need more lights, tiki torches. Oh man, let's go. So you might be wondering why there is tape all over this Camaro. Okay, so on this episode, I'm gonna be showing you what to do if you only have a little bit of wrap. So uh, this is what we call a partial wrap. Um, on a partial wrap, that means that you wrap only part of the car and not the whole car in a color so that you can kind of blend the back end to the front end. So on this episode, I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? Um, the nice thing about doing this is you don't have to commit to buying a full roll. You can buy a partial roll. I don't sell partial rolls, so you have to get a full roll. But um, technically, if you buy one roll and you and your friend wants to match, you guys can split that one roll and do two cars kind of in this way. Okay, so um, we're gonna be doing the back in piano black and all these little stripes. So let's have a closer look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so the reason why I have these stripes marked up is because the stripe represents the color and the pattern and design in which the color is gonna be. So from here back, it's gonna be black. That stripe's 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 gonna be black. And you can see they're kind of concentrically smaller as they move forward. I might put one more just to kind of like do the fade out. But that's kind of what he wants to do. Um, we're going to match it on the other side. This one's going to have a roof that's black. And the whole back end piano black. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited to do the piano black on a big portion of the car. Because that's really like the, the best black. Um, I've seen so far next to like 3M uh, 280 black the 3M 280 looks brown <laughs> that's how truly black it is so I'll show you guys what the final product looks like the piano black looks really awesome and um, the guy that owns this car doesn't want to be on camera so that being said we're just going to show you how to do this um, some people just don't want to be on camera but most of the time I require that if you're going to get wrapped by me you need to be on the episode so that we can get your reaction. Okay, so let's get into it. We're gonna pull into the garage and we're gonna mock all this up uh, later on with knifeless tape. And I'll show you guys how to do that, but we're gonna do the back bumper first and the quarter panel. Okay, so the shitty thing about Camaros is the front bumper and that. So anytime a wrap has to do this, this, and then this, it sucks. So what you have to do is to make sure that you work it into here first. Um, if you are having a problem with working it to here, you can technically run this as a separate piece. You see how there's this body line? You can wrap 
from here down and then from here up. So you're not wasting as much material if you lose it. Um, if, if you're struggling really hard and you can't do it, go ahead and cut it off right here and then do another piece on top of that. That's an option, but I'm gonna one piece this. for you guys real quick this is the paradox wraps piano black so it's so black it looks like it's chrome um, it has a feature that is very similar to uh, PPF film so if you feel it it feels different than regular wrap it feels kind of like PPF to the touch here is a piece of 3m 2080 black gloss so you see the difference, how much more blacker it is. <laughs> so this is probably the truest. Yeah, you can see at different angles here. So piano black is probably the truest black you can get. That's why it's great. And it's repairable as in if it scratches, unlike this stuff, if it scratches and has swirls, you can't, you can only heat some of it out. You can't heat all of it out. On this one, it heats out a lot more of the scratches. So yeah, that's pretty crazy looking, huh? All right, let's do it. You can kind of see how it is so black that it makes 3M kind of look dull. <laughs> there you go, we'll get up close. Piano, 3M, okay? Um, this is not, it. it's not even on the car yet, so you can see the difference there. Uh, normally 3M looks really black, but next to this, it kind of looks like a dull gray. Mm -hmm. And with this wrap on the 3M, uh, if you scratch it, you can, and get swirls, you can sometimes heat it out. But on the black, supposedly when you, um, because it's like PPF, when you heat it up, it will get all the swirls and light scratches out. That's why it's called repairable. Okay, there you go. Sick.
Okay, so if you guys made it this far in the video, I'm gonna show you um, how I can do a whole car without taking anything off the car. Okay, so um, the reason why uh, when uh, inexperienced rappers try to do this, uh, the rap fails, like um, it will just pull, it will just start having like what we call uh, fingering or lifting um, on this edge right here is because um, when they stretch it, you're putting a lot of stretch on this and the wrap wants to go back to the way it is um when it's hot right that's why it, it has that memory effect where you when you crinkle it up and you heat it up it goes flat again well that same memory effect is causing your wrap to pull back so especially on these edges to do this you need to set this whole edge here and here and here with no tension um so i'm going to show you how to do that right now so as you can see here, ideally what you want to do is take the bumper apart, my, my dirty fingerprints, and then you can, you can like cut like an inch and then you just fold that over and then the fold over causes um, the wrap to hold itself together. But you don't really need to do that. Here we're just gonna cut an inch anyway. This wrap is so glossy you can like see my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to prevent from cutting the paint on the car, very easy. You just get something to put behind the wrap that you don't care about. And then you just cut. Usually I use a squeegee. You just cut on the squeegee. And what we're trying to do here is just kind of get rid of excess material so you can work with it easier. Okay. Kind of like that. As long as we don't pass our body line, um, it's perfectly fine to just mess with the wrap. <coughs> okay. So this piano black does split kind of easy. So if you start a split, it will just keep going. So you gotta be real careful not to go past the point in which you don't want to. Okay. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this extra material. So that I can go and do this. So what I'm doing is I'm lifting it back. See, so yeah, I'm lifting it back no tension and no stretch whatsoever it's just loose i'm tucking it into the crevice okay just like that and then we're gonna heat it up And just to be double sure, I'm going to tuck this in again. And then I'm not going to cut on this edge. I'm going to cut on the opposite edge. So we're going to take the squeegee and we're going to very lightly run the squeegee with the blade as the guide. So the squeegee is going to guide the blade and you're just running the squeegee. Sometimes the blade does slip a little bit, so you gotta be real, real soft to the touch. If you can't do this, then you might end up cutting the car. Um, this takes kind of like a light, a light hand, and um, the ability not to press down too hard. The best way to practice this technique is to do it on your own car. So if you cut your own car, it's not a big deal. So now that we got that little edge, we just tuck it in just like that. See that now you heat it. And it doesn't move. And when you heat it like that and it doesn't move, it's good forever. That's how you do it. Let's do the rest of this.
it's all done. I'm not going to do that whole walk around thing with music um, on this one just because I didn't do the whole car. So I'll show you guys kind of just in depth what the piano black looks like. So that <laughs> this this material is so freaking glossy. It's it's ridiculous. Look at that. Yeah, pretty amazing. But it is quite hard to work with um, compared to regular gloss black because if you, um, because it behaves like PPF film a little bit. So if you stretch it too much, you will you can see some uh, stress lines that will never go away. So you never wanna, you know, like push it with your fingers. Like on normal wrap, you can just reach in and then go like this real hard. And then you heat it up, it'll go back the way it was. If you push it too hard um, to a point, it will leave stress marks on on the wrap itself. Um, so that's something that I learned when I'm doing all this because I haven't done a full car in this yet. Um, I've just done roofs and you know the back of Mike's car and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, this is you know doing half a car is kind of like doing a full car. Um, you you can experience what the material will do um, once you do like half a car. It wasn't too bad doing the bumper. Um, you can see here it conforms very nicely and it sticks very well and it's so glossy. You can totally see my reflection in it. <laughs> um, you know, the bumper wasn't perfect. So there are some like uh, imperfections right there. That's where the bumper was cracked. But I mean, doing black really covers up a whole lot of stuff. So um, unless you like get real close to it, you won't be able to see it. And black kind of just blends everything. Uh, it folded in very nicely right here. So I didn't need to run this as a separate piece at all. And it's holding just, just fine. I did do this as you saw in the time-lapse as a separate piece so um i tried it i always try to do this in one but this material doesn't like to stretch that much compared to regular wrap so i just it's just cleaner to do in a separate piece and black on black blends very well okay there you go so to do these lines you know, I had to lay some tape. It's never going to be perfect um, unless you have like a machine that prints it out and you have it lined up like nice and evenly. So this is just eyeballing it. If you compare this side and that side, it's not exactly the same, but it's very close. Okay, so that's just the design he wanted. And then I did the whole roof and gloss black, piano black as well. So this whole thing is done in the piano black that I've been just oozing over um, just because it just looks so good but I never want a black car because you can just breathe on this thing like I, I barely touched it and I got finger marks on it so now you got to wipe it down again with um, a microfiber towel so you know that's the life of a black car but the nice thing about this material is that if it gets swirls and stuff like that you can just heat it out and it will uh, it will heal itself. So all that super glossy is kind of easier to keep um, just because if you ever get swirls, you just take a heat gun to it and it will go away. Yeah. There you go. You can kind of see a different angle. And these are the stripes on this side. So when you're doing a half a wrap, um, you use way less material and you can kind of just design it how you want. So, um, you can do a fade in, uh, that's deeper, like, you know, where the door is, you can do like squares or triangles that are like small and then it just goes, you know, breaks into that. Um, but this is just the design that he wanted. And, uh, when he was here, I go, here's some masking tape, just lay it down like how you want it and how many stripes you want, and he agreed to that. So that's how we're gonna do it. Cool. All right, one last look. Oh, <laughs> if you guys are like, 
what what's this thing in the background so <laughs> this is michelle's yurt i don't know why she calls it a yurt or why they call it a yurt but it's a really fancy tent and she uses this to go glamping which is um fancy camping glamorous camping i think that's that's the that's the term for it look we got a nice little floor mat made out of rope you can actually stand in here so look at that we actually slept in here last night hold on let me let me get you guys on the wide angle okay check this out so <laughs> this thing is so cool that it has like little windows and um it's all held up by this stripper pole right here we actually even have a chandelier hooked up to it and it holds the tent up um we're running an extension cord in here but instead of going camping with your regular um regular tent this thing is huge this is a queen size bed okay and you can fit two people right there on that bed you can fit two more here you can fit one there so you can actually have like 10 people in here and it's held up by this bar at the entrance yeah so it's pretty sick the only bad thing is that it gets pretty hot in here in the daytime um there there's a cool feature to this you see down here all of this unzips so you can actually have the whole bottom section just rolled up that's why they're that's why these things are here so you roll it up and then you tie it to those and then you can have the tent part on top and then your whole bottom section open to the air if you wanted to sick yeah look how big this is this is like straight up some of that um arabian nights kind of thing you know what i mean like a pavilion <laughs> anyway yeah um that air mattress uh is pretty cool too we got that from target and this thing if you guys are interested in your own yurt get some fur ooh, and go on amazon um i'll link the description of this thing below if you guys want this um, i'll ask michelle where she got it but i think she ordered off amazon is like pretty fancy for a tent but look at it, you're out here stunting on people. <laughs> All right, so that's about it for this one. Um, if you like the Piano Black, you can order it. Okay, the, the ducks. What? Yeah, yeah, say what you wanna say. Say what you wanna say, tell the people. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, they slept out here last night. They were all up in our yard. I don't know what's happening. I think that's what the duck translation is <laughs> it's coming out to be. Of course, an airplane flies while I'm trying to do this. Hold on. Okay, so where, where was I? Yes, if you want to order piano black or any other color that I'm using, go to Paradox Wraps. I'll link it right here. DM me on there, and then you can place your order. I'm building the website right now. So as soon as the website goes live, I'll let you guys know on how to order on there. You can email me, but um, it's taken me a long time to respond to email. I'm really bad at it, so I apologize. The best way to reach me is to DM me on Instagram at Paradox Wraps or Paradox Styling. Ask me whatever you want. Let me know what color you want, and we'll set you up. I can ship it anywhere in the world. So um, I'm not sure about like the Caribbean islands or anywhere remote like that, Tahiti. But... Uh, my supplier says they can pretty much ship it anywhere in the world that FedEx or UPS travels. So let me know what you need, okay? Um, if you guys enjoy that thing, <laughs> comment below, okay? Let me know what kind of tent setup you guys got because that's pretty dope. We're probably gonna end up going camping with it and just show these folks how it's done and how glamping works. So maybe we'll do like a, a Michelle glamping episode. She wants to get like a, like a, like one of those like can ham trip can ham trailers like you know back in the day and then just glamp that out too it's a girl thing we'll see we'll see all right guys let me know what you think about this car and this half wrap um you can do this yourself with your buddies if you really wanted to just need some knifeless tape 
And uh, basically, yeah, you can do anything you want as long as you practice. If you wrap a car a couple times uh, and then just practice on like half a car, you will get real good. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.